This is the TV news for Wednesday, October 20th. Let's begin by reporting what we're hearing about the latest developments in the Fox Cablevision retransmission range war. And what we're hearing is a louder and more universal call for the oh-so-dreaded GI. And that, folks, is government intervention. So, if Uncle Sam does step in on this one and then remains involved in the future of retrans and carriage battles, our industry only has itself to blame. Why? Because you can only screw some of the customers some of the time. And now from the TV News International Desk, a pair of eye-opening stories. Oh, mamma mia! The Vatican newspaper, L'Osservatore Romano, has proclaimed the Simpsons equals Catholics. They cite running religious themes within the two-decade span of the program proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that Homer Simpson and family are indeed card-carrying members of the R.C. faith. <laughs> Memo to the Beeb. You may wish to tighten your belts. In the face of the biggest cutback in UK government spending since World War II, the BBC will have to get along on an operating budget that is reportedly 26% less than in recent years past. So much for those three pint lunches. And now it's time for The Programming Pulse with Susan Hibben. The Programming Pulse is brought to you by Way Out There. Now's your chance to get the Tonight Show of the Paranormal. That's Way Out There. Let's talk about the talk. CBS's Answer to the View has answered the call and, in its premiere, has rung up 24% more viewers than its predecessor, As the World Turns, did last October. Good news! NBC has given full season orders to a trio of Frost shows, and they are, drum roll please, The Event, Law & Order Los Angeles, and Outsourced. On the Cindy front, Fox television stations have acquired current ABC hit Modern Family for a window that starts in 2013. Now this window is not exclusive, as Modern Family already has an off-net deal in place with USA. And finally, I have a trivia question for you. Who is the only actor in TV history to win an Emmy for both comedy and drama, playing the same character? Give up? Well, it's Ed Asner playing Lou Grant. And Asner has now signed on to CMT's first scripted comedy, Working Class. I'm Susan Hibben, and I'll see you next Wednesday here on The Programming Pulse. Future events and opportunities, brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice. Get the best price. Get Dude at DudeWalker.com. Have you seen the slam-bang two-plus-minute epic featurette for Conan on TBS that's running in regal movie theaters? Well, now you can, and guess what? We're going to spare you the cost of a movie ticket. Just link to the featurette in its entirety on the TV News landing page. To reach the decision makers in the TV and new media industries with your message in video, become a sponsor of the TV News. To get started, all you have to do is shoot us an email at advertise at the TV news TV. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. Tomorrow, another fresh edition, which includes our exclusive feature, the Marketing and Trends Report. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you very much for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.